Oh, hey, baby. Oh, hello. Rolls Royce, without a doubt, builds the most luxurious cars in the entire world for decades upon decades. They've been the platinum standard for luxury by naming their cars after ships from Halo, the Phantom, the Wraith, and the Ghost. If you're rich and classy AF and you want the world to know it, you buy a Rolls Royce. And now they have a new model. It's bigger, more powerful, and even more luxurious than ever before. Ask Jeeves to bing the car around because it's time to go bumper to bumper on the Rolls Royce Cullinan. Like every other luxury and exotic manufacturer, Rolls Royce has decided to build the Cullinan because the world can't get enough SUVs. I love them, don't hate on them, they're great. But unlike every other car maker, it makes 100% sense for Rolls Royce to build an SUV. Rolls Royce has always been about making the most outlandish and extravagant cars on the road. So building a taller one is just a no brainer. Frankly, they should have been building SUVs since like 1903. The suggested price for this Cullinan is $400,000. That's more than my parents paid for their house and their divorce, so they have two houses and it's still more. So what does that kind of cash get you? Someone pick me up and take me to the inside of the car, please. <laughs> This is by far the most luxurious cabin I have ever been to. And I have been to Joshua Tree twice. The first thing you notice is how quiet it is. Rolls-Royce says the Cullinan has over 200 pounds of sound insulation built in. Even the tires have sound deadening. Any other car maker would rush to show off how loud their twin turbo V12 can be, but Rolls-Royce isn't like other car makers. The Rolls-Royce buyer is above hearing the engine. All they want to hear is their money guy saying, hey, Bobby, your money's getting bigger. Good, thank you for calling me. Boop. This Cullinan is fitted with the Launch Edition package, a $48,000 option. When I think Launch Edition, I'm thinking something like But in this case, Launch Edition means they're celebrating this edition's launch. The edition includes Lamb's Wolf floor mats. This is really the softest shit I've ever felt in my life. Makes me want to drive barefoot, but don't because rich people's feet stink because they're so busy stepping over the poor. The iconic RR logo is monogrammed on the headrests in a color called Selby Gray. And these Cullinan tread plates are illuminated. Fun! In America, we call them door sills, but I'm gonna start calling them tread plates. Tread plate sounds like an evil corporation from the Born Identity. Hi, I'm Matt Damon. I used to work for Tread Plate. Hey, hey, I'm gonna jump through the dang window. Karate chop, man. Bio, bio, choo, choo, choo. Oh, you're a pretty girl. Uh oh, a bad guy. Hey, 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 pew, 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 pew. Skirt, skirt. Yep. The launch edition also comes with the bespoke audio package, which besides using insanely good tweeters, subwoofers, wolflers, barkers, and growlers, it also has microphones mounted all around the car that automatically adjust the audio levels to cancel out the outside noise. The Cullinan is a $400,000 pair of noise-canceling headphones that you can use to run over poor people. Rolls-Royce has seen a trend of younger owners taking their cars and murdering them out to make them unique. Kanye, your Urus looks questionable. But instead of discouraging customization, Rolls-Royce lets you customize every single aspect of this car. Whoever ordered this one did a pretty bold job with Arctic white seats and Turquese accents, which is Italian for turquoise. And the key is turquoise too. And it looks great against this beautiful donut media lanyard, which you can get at donutmedia.com. It also has open pour mimosa negra wood. Now I love a brunch, so open pour mimosa sounds great to big bro. Anyway, this wood is a $2,700 option, 
plus another $4,500 for the wood on the steering wheel and on the dash. That's over $7,000 in wood. For the cost of the wood in the Cullinan, you could easily frame a house. That's over 2,000 studs, and I'm doing the math with two by sixes because I can fit more insulation. Where my contractor bros at? You boy knows how to swing a hammer. The saying goes, you're not supposed to drive a Rolls. You're supposed to be driven in one. That's not the case with the Cullinan. Rolls-Royce designed the Cullinan for a younger buyer, remember? It's for someone who wants practicality and the ability to take their $400,000 truck off-road. These seats are ventilated so you don't sweat like a dirty peasant. And the massagers have eight different settings. The Lamborghini Urus we looked at a few weeks ago only had seven. But seven isn't enough for elites like me. Rolls-Royce says perfection requires obsession in every detail, and that isn't just marketing BS. The reason this car costs 400 grand is because of that obsession. Every Rolls is hand-built, and all the interior leather is stitched by world-class tailors, like in that movie, Taylor Tinker Toilet Soldier. If you look at the stitching really close, you can see that it's basically perfect. And that goes for the rest of the interior as well. All these dials are machined aluminum and the fit is immaculate, just like the conception of the little baby Jesus. But just because Rolls-Royce wants owners to drive the Cullinan doesn't mean that the rear of the car sucks. In fact, it doesn't suck. The rear seats get these sweet, sweet picnic tables on the front. And they really are like picnic tables. You can feel the grain. That's a good grain. This car also comes with the rear theater option, which includes a 12 inch little screen on the back. You can watch movies. Check this out. I'm 6'3". I'm not even touching the table with my knees. The rear seats are higher than the front seats, so I can see what my freaking chauffeur's up to. What's that, Jeeves? No, I'm gonna watch Bad Boys 2 back here and eat this biscuit. My favorite thing, and I haven't seen this in another car, this is probably a Rolls Royce thing, is that the lowest setting on the AC is soft. In case they want a hot, soft breeze or a cool, soft breeze. Would you like some climate control? It's not too hard, is it? No, in fact, it's quite soft. If you look up and touch the headliner, you feel that it's leather just like the seats, and Rolls takes huge pride in their leather work, as they claim to use the best leather in the world. They get their leather from bulls raised in moist climates so their skin doesn't dry out, and they only use bull hides because cows are girls, and they get pregnant, and pregnant ladies get stretch marks. Rolls Royce looks at hundreds of hides, just like Nolan at the beach, but they only choose a handful for their cars. They take that leather, and this is bizarre, they take that leather, then they chill it down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Then they jack it up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Then back down to minus 10. They do this over and over for 10 days. The interior of this car required a dozen bolts. The leather is so nice, it doesn't squeak. But hey, if bull leather isn't for you, Rolls Royce will use any material that you want, as long as you pay for it. Alligator skin, done. Ostrich skin, no problemo. Huge Human skin. They won't do that, but I got a guy. Hit me up in the comments. I'll hook you up. You can also get the Cullinan with a fridge in the back seat. It comes with its own champagne flutes, but this one just has the lounge style back seat, which doesn't have a fridge, but you can fit more people and you can fold it down. Look, cup holders. I have to press two buttons. What am I, poor? Excuse me, Jesse, can you do me a favor? Can you zoom out a little bit? A, a scooch further, my love. Further, further. Is it as wide as King Henry's court? Good, because check this out. This bad boy has suicide freaking doors! Yeah! Like I mentioned earlier, Rolls-Royce names all of their cars after Halo vehicles, but this one got its name from the Cullinan Diamond, which is not a Halo vehicle, but the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found. Looking at this Cullinan from the outside, it's pretty apparent why they chose that name. There's a reason that we shot this episode at a church, because the first time I saw a picture of the Cullinan, I was like, yo, that thing looks like a freaking cathedral. It's huge. The grill looks like a pipe organ and it's got an angel on the hood. The Cullinan is 17 and a half feet long and just over seven feet wide. That's almost as wide as Shaq. 
The styling is unmistakably Rolls Royce. Their cars look like tungsten ingots with wheels. No other car has the presence of a Rolls. Much like the diamond that the Cullinan is named after, it's massive. Cullinan weighs over 6,000 pounds and to motivate all that weight to move, it needs a proper engine, love. What kind of engine should we put in the Cullinan? How about a proper one? Yeah, I was like, maybe we should put in the submarine engine. No, Ringo, that's why we don't let you design any of the cars. I like Ringo's idea. This car is more powerful than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Under the hood or bonnet, the Cullinan is powered by a twin turbocharged 6.75 liter, first time I've ever seen displacement to the 100, V12 built by BMW to keep the weight down, the block, and the cylinder heads are aluminum. This 12 horn beast makes 563 hearse purrs and 660 feet of perks. Yes, Rolls Royce is owned by BMW, but I don't want to see any comments down there that say that this thing is just an X7 with a different face, because it's not, not by a long shot. Unlike other luxury car makers who might borrow a chassis for the mass market, Rolls Royce designed a platform for themselves and only them for all of their cars to share. They call it the architecture of luxury. The chassis can be lengthened or shortened depending on which car it's going to be built into from the Phantom to the Cullinan. And since the SUV had to do double duty being smooth as a cloud and tackle the occasional trail, when you're going fox hunting or whatever, Rolls outfitted the Cullinan with double wishbone front suspension and five link rear. Instead of primitive coil springs, oh, so last century, Rolls installed air ride at every corner. Dubbers, what's up? And a camera at the front of the car scans the road ahead and adjusts the suspension on the fly in anticipation of lumps and bumps. If a wheel leaves the ground, the suspension will tweak itself until all four wheels make contact and get traction. Sick. And speaking of wheels, the hub has its own bearing mechanism inside and the inner ring is weighted at the bottom, keeping it upright. As other car makers struggle to adapt to changing times and make their own SUV, the Cullinan feels like a natural progression of Rolls Royce's legacy. It's the car they were always meant to build and it rules. As my good friend Rihanna says, hey Riri, shine bright like a diamond. Thanks for watching Bumper to Bumper every Tuesday until the day I die. Thank you so much to Rustnack Auto Group for letting us borrow this car. If it weren't for cool people in the community, we wouldn't be able to make any content because I think this is worth more than Donut. Up to Speed is still Thursdays. Watch that show too. Check out this episode of Wheelhouse. Follow me on Instagram at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut. Hey, if you guys like this video, why don't you take a second to let us know? It really, really does help us out. Sick! It's my birthday! I'm going out! I love you.